hello and welcome in this lecture we will create a shared hard drive which will be shared among our new servers if you were in an enterprise environment you could have used a storage area network to present a shared LAN to both of these machines since we are limited with the resources we will simulate the same shared storage within virtualbox environment in order to create the shared disk head back to tools and then from this icon click on media here you can see already two virtual disks are listed these two disks they belong to our servers which we configured earlier in order to create a new shared disk we will click on create here leave the virtual disk type to vdi click on next we need to make sure we pre-allocate the full size of the disk what it does is whatever the size you will define in the next screen the virtual disk will be pre-allocated with that space shared disk cannot be thin provisioned they must be a fixed in size simply click on next in the next screen we will rename our disk to something else so we will give it a meaningful name such as shared disk one for the size we will leave it to 2 gb and we will select finish oracle virtual box has created a shared disk one for us which we can attach it to our other servers in order to make this disk actually shareable you have to select the disk and from its attributes make sure the type of the disk is shareable otherwise this disk will not be available to both systems at the same time click on the shareable and then finally select apply next we will attach this disk to our servers and we will configure the ip addresses network interface cards in order to attach the disk select the settings icon on your selected server in this case we will select server 1 go to the storage section and here under the SATA controller click on this icon which says add hard disk from the popped up window select the shared disk which we created and click on choose since we are already on the settings window we will configure our network adapter as well go to the network section here we will enable our adapter and then select the bridge adapter bridge adapter mode will directly connect to your physical router and get an ip address so other machines on the same lan will be able to communicate to our centos server as discussed previously the nodes in vcs cluster they talk to each other over private links the vcs can support up to eight links but in our environment we will configure two heartbeat links which will be private links in order to configure the private link go to adapter 2 make sure it's enabled and then select the attached network type to internal network leave the name to internet similarly go to network adapter 3 enable it and make sure the tab type of the network is internal as well now click on ok we are done with the server 1 next we will click on server 2 go to settings similarly under storage we will go under controller setup and then attach our shared disk in here next we will configure the networks go to network section make sure the network type is bridge for the network one for adapter two we will choose internal network then similar to adapter three internal network press ok now we are good to power on our machines select our server and power them on one by one both of our servers are powering on once they are up we will configure the ip addresses on these machines 